How to fit Hondaline CD player to GI1800 Goldwing 0106. The Hondaline CD player was announced for the GL1800 late in 2000, ready to ship around the same time as the new Honda Goldwing itself. In 2002 a separate improved mounting kit was supplied. The main difference with the new kit was that you now had to remove the trunk from the GL1800 to fit the mounting brackets. The procedure for fitting the later unit is outlined here. Note that this article covers the pre-2006 model, from 2006 on the meter panel removal is different and not described here. Steps. 1. First disconnect the battery. Then it's off with the saddle. When you remove the Allen bolts, firmly push the rider's back pad rearwards until the two white tabs at the front of the saddle clear the shelter bracket. 2. Then just lift the front up and away from the gold wing. Check that the rubber spacers under the saddle where the bolts go through are still in place. Tip, use plenty of soft cloths to cover any panels that are even remotely at risk from falling bolts, screwdrivers etc. GL1800 plastics are even more expensive than those for older Goldwing models. 3. Inside the trunk, remove the five screws holding the lock mechanism cover in place. Note that the bottom two are fine threads and shouldn't be mixed up with the self-tappers, unless you really like ruining Goldwing parts. 4. Disconnect the two saddlebag cables from the mechanism. 5. Number plate and bracket off, then the five bolts holding the rear fender all highlighted in green. 6. Unclip the fender. Tip, the middle bolt is different to the other ones, don't mix them up. The trunk moldings and lower cover have to be removed as well. First picture shows the side trim screws to be removed, highlighted, the two screws under them are for the lower cover and should be removed as well. 7. Repeat this on the other side of the trunk. Pull the side trims off. Second picture shows the screws to be removed for the long trim to be unclipped. Third picture shows the remaining screws that hold the lower cover in place. Slide the cover carefully towards the rear of the bike and free of the trunk and saddlebag levers. 8. Remove the three nuts holding the trunk lights in place and pull the lights out. Disconnect the bulb holders and pull the wires down through the holes in the trunk. Second picture shows the large connector block to disconnect and picture 3 shows the other connectors to be unhooked. You can see where the electrical connections accessory fitted between the blue connector block that allows the trunk brake light to act as a running light as well. 9. Unclip any cable ties that you can see. At this point, if you have the Hondaline passenger audio controller fitted, you should remove the trunk pockets by taking out the three screws inside the trunk right behind each pocket. Last picture shows two of the trunk mounting bolts removed, the other two are just at the rear and out of view in this picture. Don't forget to pull out the helmet holder knobs, they usually pop out easily enough. Take a good look and note how the wires are routed so you don't get it wrong at reassembly time. 10. These two pictures show the trunk tipped forward. Our lunchtime football came in handy and kept the trunk from going too far forward onto the gold wings frame. 11. Standing at the rear of the bike and looking at the trunk base, you can see the rubber grommet right side to be removed in the first picture. 12. Remove the other grommet on the left side as well. 13. Position the supplied cardboard template over the grommet hole as shown in the second picture, making sure that the highlighted side is flush with the edge of the lip as shown. 14. Then use an awl or punch to mark the spots where you will be drilling the 22 mm holes. Repeat on the left side. Then drill the holes. Don't forget to put the grommets back. 15. Now it's time to drill the 28 mm hole in the base of the trunk for the player's wire harness to pass through left side hole. I've also drilled the hole on the right side as I was fitting the Hondaline CB radio at the same time as the Hondaline CD player. Honda have the positions of the holes marked precisely. Tip, if you are fitting the old type mounts, you don't need to remove the trunk to drill the hole. With the saddle removed, you can get a 28mm hole saw and heat it with a butane torch and just melt the hole in the trunk. 16. Time to fit the Hondaline player mounting brackets. 
First picture shows the left side bracket sitting loosely and below that you can just see the cardboard F template sitting astride the frame member. 17. With the trunk refitted, pop the Hondaline CD player and cage into place. The CD unit is easy to screw into the cage so no need for pictures of that. Use the big chromed Allen bolts highlighted in green to screw the cage onto the visible mounting brackets. Now you know why you had to drill the 422 mm holes that you fitted earlier. The two small brass colored self tappers just behind the front chrome bolts will need to be removed and bin for the unit to open. Put a small dab of grease on the spring clip each side and on the two holes highlighted in red for the cover to slide along. You can see the CB radio that I was fitting as well. The wire harness for the CD player harness goes through the hole you drilled. 18. The plastic cover for the unit has to slot in position as shown in the left picture. Once it's in place you can close the unit and fit the large chrome Allen bolts. Job done. Tip, before you bolt the cover down, make sure that the hinged flap where it meets the trunk is turned upwards as shown in the second picture, rather than down, or it will most certainly break off in record time. 19. The highlighted connector in the rubber boot is where the Hondaline CD player plugs into, the other highlighted foam-covered plug is the one coming from the CD player that plugs into it. When you've connected everything up, test the operation of the CD player before refitting the saddle to the Goldwing.